start recording. Okay, and Stella, uh, first line will be for you. All right. Page 20. Sorry, this isn't matching up with what I had. One second. One second. Oh, uh, what did you leave off on? Why not? Is it not 24? That's what I'm trying to figure out. 24 should be the page number because we finished 23 yeah. and 22 with bloom. So you miss. That was what we missed. Mm -hmm. What do you have? What did you study for? I think I don't quite know. That's fine. That's you don't fine. know what you studied so... for? <laughs> yeah, well, the first word, Kajia, is I've got this right one. later. That is a well, uh, smith, blacksmith. Ah. I just know that's a hard word, so <laughs> I didn't know that before this. Hmm. Kajian ni sume re te shugyo kanji shugyo right The kanji Ita. I really have to study for. I forgot to do them. Ita ke te koramu daga sono ato ato o no o e itai o itai de Stella, what did you study? Tell me the page. We could do that instead. <laughs> You're the only I'm one sorry. here. <laughs> did you study 20, 20, 20, 22 maybe? That's where we would have left no, off last I, time. I, I've got the page number 24. What, did, what vocabulary did you if study? I skip just skip the page. You started on 25. Uh, I do have blacksmith. <laughs> um, no. no, you practice. Gosh. I just like want it to be as easy as possible. Uh, it's like, maybe my oh, typer. here we go. Here we go. I found it. I found it. Oh. I, I think I included like the last bit of the last page because oh. I wasn't quite sure where we left off. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, like no. starting from the Itsumo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't quite sure. And like I watched YouTube and I knew and then I just like, <laughs> um Sairyo no heishi no hitori da date no da. So, um, he was born a blacksmith. Hi. Quorum was. Yes. And, um, so no, what was. The Shugyo Ukita part? I guess like that's part of like what who was it? a blacksmith. Okay. Okay, and then he was in the king's army, if I thought that right? Yes, he was. Like specifically specific yeah, specifically a foot soldier, not one riding a horse. No horse for ah. Korea. So infantry. Yes. Okay. It is a soldier that walks. Aruku. Okay. And how good okay. was he? Best. Was he cannon fodder? He was the best. Yes. He was amazing. He was one of the best soldiers in the infantry of the king after he had received training to become a bath blacksmith. <laughs> Again. Okay. Uh, 
And the next line gets to go to me. Torebondo Shiro ni kaite kara shueikan tonatta no da. So after he returned to Trebondo Castle, um, he became a shueikan, which I think is like a guard. It's the position of guard. Um, that's what. That's his job now. And do, 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 do. next line for you, Stella. All right. Ima Ima demo o no eshi ni mo ichido ichido nare ru nara naritai. Right. It does come from na Naru, though. Mm. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I lost my place. Uh, um, Nari... Ichido Naritai. Naritai to itte itta ga iku jinashi no ojin na ojin um ishon no o This is what I get for doing it on a plane. I'm so sorry. Huh? Oh, you are you? It's all good. This is a hard sentence right here. This is probably the hardest the sentence on the page. Uh, it's not just the kanji, but let's start with Wait. the first half and just ignore this bottom half. Okay. Ima de mo. What does that mean? Okay. So even now. He Um, The king soldier. Oh no, uh, the king soldier is in the sentence, right. but in English we would start with the verb. Ah. So even now, ah, he yep, and what yep. they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a mo means? A mo So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Omoteita, he thought. Ah, the thing yeah, he thought he is thought. that he naritai. What does that mean? He thought that he naritais. It would be different. Mm, different's not really in here. Do you know what naru means? Okay. Naru. Mm. I love the word naru. It's my favorite word. Whenever I talk about it, I always say like neko ni naru <laughs> because it's absolutely nonsensical. Uh -huh. But neko ni naru means to become a cat. Is the oh meaning to of become that word. yes yes yes. Naru. Right. and naru is the adverb thing that attaches to the final state of the verb. So de would be mm -hmm. like the spell, mm -hmm. like dumon. I became a cat with a magical spell. This is like a fun way to tell the difference between <laughs> those two words. So I feel like whenever like what's the difference between de ni, well, this is how we know. Naru makes it really clear. Um, so to become, and then we're adding tai here. What happens when we like combine a verb with tai? And these guys come in on want to become yes he wants to become something that should be marked by the particle ni oh no um hey she ni soldier if he wanted to yes. become a soldier for who Who's soldier for the oh, king for the king exactly and then we have some extra information here mo ichido what is that telling us once again once again yes so he was thinking he wanted to become, even now he was thinking he wanted to become a soldier once again for the king. However, something happened. We have a, there's a difference on here, betsu. Because <laughs> you have to first it. It's, a, it's hanashi wa betsu. What does that mean? 
um, different speaking. Um, uh, so hanashi never really means speaking. Hanashi, but hanasu, hanasu can uh, mean speak. Um, hanashi is story, but not necessarily mm -hmm. like telling a story. It's any kind of like situation that could be explained using words. That's basically the meaning of hanashi. So it can be used with a make-believe story or literally you telling someone what you did yesterday. In this case, he's talking about a hypothetical situation of once again becoming a knight of the king. So he's saying it's a different story now, right? That's what we'd say in English. It's a totally different thing. Hi. If, that's mm. not a, Hi. if he, um, ikuji nashi no, um, oji no motta to baka ni sareru. So the most important part here is baka ni sareru. Do you know what that means? Still hard, but that'd be the easiest part to start with. Baka ni sareru. I don't remember. Hi. It totally makes sense why you'd be confused <laughs> by this. So first off, we're going to start with the verb sudu. Do you know what that means? Yes. Sudu? To do. To do. Yes. So um baka ni sudu would mean to do something so that you end end state would be a bitty an idiot you would end up as an idiot right baka ni sudu oh oh it actually does mean baka here okay it is it is idiot <laughs> so <laughs> sadadu is just turning that into passive form which is to be an idiot uh -huh. so, to be an idiot. so yes. if he is an idiot then it's a totally different story However, the real, yes. but by idiot here, they basically mean to be looked down at or to be made fun of, is the <laughs> idea here. If he's being made a fun fool. of due to the fact, or like being treated as a fool, due to the fact he ikuji nashi no oji o motta, that he has, motsu being used like holding, has a ojin. Sorry, that's not how it's pronounced. That's shujin, isn't it? Su. Su. Shujin. Yes. Shujin. Do you know what a shujin is? Mm. Shujin. I am right is... now convinced I forgot to everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a hard word as well. I always like, I saw I totally pronounced it wrong. But this, ji, mm. this shu part right here, you might have seen before as aruji or nushi mm -hmm. or anything like that. And it basically means like, master but not in any like servant master but as a, a sorry not as a um master Expert. and slave but like a servant and a uh boss okay man. it basically means boss man is the the meaning of the word and it, we just translate it as master so jujin is a person who is your boss man it is your master but not literally like slave to master so if he comes right with a boss man in this case tom is his boss man mm. and tom is an ikuji nashi which means a coward um so he says if i come with a master who is a coward then i will be thought treated as an idiot and it's a totally different story about whether or not i become a, uh, a, a guardsman again but yeah this especially this bottom half super hard Hi. Thank so, you. Makes sense why you'd have a lot of trouble with that. And these next two lines here are going to go to Danny, who popped up. Danny, do you need a refresher? What was going on, or should are you going to just pop in right in? Yep, I got it. Okay. Hi. hi. <clears throat> okay. Nande oranaga ono onoko ja tan o otoko o o otonoko. Otoko no ko means boy. Otoko, yeah, otoko no ko jana katanda. Um, okay, so, uh, jana katanda is like, right. why not? Yes, why is that here? Or, nande? Yeah, nande is why not Orana be the boy? Yeah, why um, wasn't Alana the boy? Mm-hmm. Uh where am I reading to? Okay. Um an, this is really short. Uh, anoko wa, yeah. Anono 
Anoko Anoko wa uh, hon, hon mono no senshida. Hi. So that child um, was hon mono is like the real thing. Hi. And then sen senshi is warrior. So she's she's a real that child is a real warrior. Exactly. Perfect. Koramu ga saisho anana o oshieta no wa futago no kataware o oshiereba mo hitori no ho mo mendo o minai wake ni wa ikanai kara datta. So originally, Koramu had thought that、um, as far as teaching Alana goes, That it really、um, wasn't like much more of a problem to be teaching one twin versus just teaching both, basically. You taught one half of the twins,、um, then you might as well just add the other one in there as well. It's just easier, is basically what it says. The, 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 the men don't well, as much. He taught Alana first. Did he? Because, know, yeah, Koramo ga saisho orana o oshieta. So, first he taught Alana. But there's a no here, though. What does that do?、Uh, so, that's a pronoun no, which means that we have something dropped in here, being that the, the thing that is of, of Alana teaching Alana first. So, it's not saying he taught her first. He's talking about at the beginning of teaching Alana. Saisho.、Mm. Like, as, like as, as like a thing. You're right that there's a period here. Saisho. Anao oshieta. He taught Alana first. That is a possible translation, but with the no here, we're, we're, def we're describing something.、Um, mm -hmm. Which, um, like, it, it would be weird for the sentence to be like,、uh, Just being like, he taught Alana first and didn't teach the brother、uh, is, is unlikely. Like, does the English version say he taught Alana first? I don't know.、Yeah. I, I haven't looked、um, at it. I it don't know if that's、happen? cheating. The English version says he taught Alana first because to teach one child was to teach the other. And it's、yeah. implied that, like, teaching Tom was impossible. So he taught Alana as a route to、oh, teaching Tom. Yeah. yeah, that's. I guess it could be that. I guess it's the same. The, the second half of the sentence、first. is super hard for me, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not really sure. Like, it, it is a hard sentence, which I guess is why I got it wrong. The, the, the part right here with the mendo minai wake ni wa ikenai kara datta is just saying、um, it. So, wake ga nai means there's like it's impossible or there's no like reason for it. So, he's saying there's no reason、mm -hmm. to. Try to the trouble of training、um, the mo hitori no ho, which is saying one more if you teach one half. So I guess you're saying, I guess what you said is what it's saying. I was just thinking, well, it's like more of a pain to teach one half of it than both, than adding another one. But it's actually saying、mm -hmm. it is, you're right, it is, it is impossible to, it, it is more impossible. If, you, if you're teaching you just one teach half, one if you don't teach the other, I don't know. The other. It, it, is, it is a hard, a hard sentence. sentence. <laughs> I just knew it said he was teaching both because it would have it been impossible to teach one, was how I interpreted it. But it isn't、mm. really saying that. It, it is saying, like,、uh, one, teaching one half, is, the other half is more of a problem. So, yeah, it's. Yeah. I, I got, yeah. Cheating is always welcome. <laughs> That's a cute little person. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, uh, next person will be Stella, I think. Next line for you. Kawaii soda konomo da. Kotachi da. Hi. Haha mo inakute. So they were 
poor children also without a mother. Hi. Perfect. Demo Suguni Arana ni Oshiru noa Tanosimi ni natta. However, he quickly started to enjoy teaching Alana. And the next line will go to um, Danny. Nomi Nomi Komi uh, Ga Yoku Jotatsu Ga Hayai Ani Yori wa Zuto I I Uh Okay so, um, Jotatsu is the most important yeah. part. Which, which part? Jotatsu. Mm, progress. Yeah. And the nomi is kind of like uh, metaphorical. A lot of times you'll see that with hayai, together, which basically means quick to mm -hmm. understand. Right? You like, you gobble mm -hmm. up knowledge type of idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ani Yoriwa compared to the brother Z Zuto E. That E is good. Yes. But, and then, so, can far away better than the brother? Far away? Zuto? Um, Zuto is a adverb that means a lot as the basic a meaning. Lot. Forever um, is a common translation of it because the allotness of Zuto is a lot. It's not a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> so referring to time, since forever is what we mean when we say it's been a long time. But we, so that, that's all it means. So here that's not a time phrase. So forever doesn't really work because that's a forever time phrase thing. So in this case, it just means a lot. -y. So in this case, much okay, so to, better. To restate, it means she gobbled up knowledge and made progress really quickly. In comparison to her brother, it was a lot better. Exactly. Perfect. And then Stella. You keep on getting long sentences, Stella. I apologize to you. <laughs> <laughs> so for you. For like the last... Zen, Zen, Nimo Ota Otake Redo Arana Ga Otoko Noko Um Datara Yokat Yokata Noni To Goram This does not. Uh, Kokoro kara. Oh, is that pronounced that? Uh, this is his last name. Ah, uh, yeah. Sumai son. Sumai son. Oh yeah, Nagao. That's what. That is. <laughs> <laughs> My son, wa kokoro kara negao, negata. Negao, negata. So the last one is to like wish. Yeah, if you're start with the, so you want to start in Japanese at wherever there is a comma. Yes. Basically, like, that, that, that's like the that's like, the fun thing about long sentences. So the first part is izen ni mo omotakedo. Izen is a hard word to wrap your head around. You happen to know what that means? I have it down as before. It does mean before. That is correct. The way how you can think about it is that whenever you see an in in word, that means we're referring to the object that is the second kanji. So izen my is mm. always time-wise referring to a previous existence like my mita kotogaru which means i've seen it before right so it means we're referring to previousness so he says previously 
I amotte. I amotad. Thought. Yeah. Previously, I thought. That's what it says. Contextually, but it's I thought that. Right. However, he's restating the thought again over here. Alana wa otoko no ko dattara yokatta. It would have been so good if she'd been a girl, if she'd been a boy. Hi. Exactly. And then what does it end with? It's, it's something he wished from from the bottom of his heart. Hi, hi. From, exactly. the, from his heart. And what's funny is that the Izen was right over here. Ah. It's about five minutes earlier. But he's probably also had the same thought on other occasions. <laughs> but he's just rethinking the same thing he thought earlier. That's, that's all it says. Like the whole last hour. Yeah, he's just been thinking that <laughs> okay, on repeat. Uh, <laughs> um, and next line goes to Denny. Sona Kuramuno Nozomi wa Kana o Toshite Ita Kanari Kawata Kata de Wa ataga. Okay, I think so it's kata in this context, I think it's kata when it's married. Kata... So I could be wrong. Kata chi... mm. kata yeah, chi... I, I think it's kata chi on its own, and then kata whenever it's like with something, right? So th th in this case, it should mm. be kata chi because it's like on its own. Okay, so it. The first part of the before the comma is Ramu's wish. Quorum's wish. Uh, kana o o shite ita. So shite ita was to be like. Mm, 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 mm. Oto suru. <laughs> Oto suru is this grammar point. Um, it's volational form plus tosuru. Uh, this means like to try, kind of. Uh, in this mm. case, no one's trying here. But it is used when there is a chance of failure of an, an action to happen, right? So you might know temiru, right? Which also means like to try. But this means the action succeeded. There's no doubt of the succession of the action, right? I tried to say hello. You said the mm. word hello, but whether or not the goal achieved is what's in question. Did they say hello back? Why are you saying hello? Like the insinuated goal was not completed or may, may or may not be completed. Otosuru normally means that there is an action that is attempting to be complete. Whether or not it gets complete is actually up in the airs, but the attempt chun is is what we're referring to. So it's like to the attempt. So canal, which you know what canal means? I do not. Canal means to grant, like to have a wish come to fruition. Mm. To come true. So canal to shiteita means um, basically like wish. to try to come true, <laughs> which the wish is the nozomi up there. So that wish of Koram's, um, as far as it like mm -hmm. being granted, it's like it's, it's hard to translate this in English because <laughs> we don't really use try in this context. <laughs> but that's how I get would be the closest I could get. As far as like his wish being granted goes, uh, is how mm -hmm. I'm going to translate it. But it's not really what it's saying. It's literally saying the act of granting that wish of that wish coming true. There is a hint of it not coming true. <laughs> Possibility. Uh, it it came true in it, what it, kind of katachi? Uh, uh, so the ata is it means he is going to have it, but it is in a hen wata katachi, which is a strange, in a strange way or a strange shape Hi. or form. Hi. So um, you are correct in basically what this means, but I'm going to explain a grammar point that you probably do not know, which is um, comma good. with short form. It's something that I don't think is ever mentioned, right? You're not going to see this in like a grammar textbook, 
but this is a very important grammar point that occurs in novels and stuff. So a relative clause, right? Like kanari kawata, right? That's describing this noun katashi, which is shape, mm -hmm. right? The form in which the wish is coming through in. So this is just saying mm -hmm. uh, katashi dewa atta. There existed a shape. The shape was strange. That That's literally what this is saying. This comma right here mm -hmm. is saying this right up here is another relative clause. And it's describing the noun katachi, which is the shape mm. of Koram's wish is going to attempt to be granted. Is literally what it mm. says. Uh, which sounds weird in English. We don't That's use good. the word shape that way, but you kind of know like what the vibe is going on there. I'm just letting you know for like mm -hmm. future reference because we did it perfect because it's an easy, it makes sense in context. But that's yeah. what this is. It just says this is describing that noun, and this is also describing that noun. And we just have two adjective mm -hmm. clauses describing the same noun. Um, so it's just an interesting comma. So I just want to explain that because you're probably mm -hmm. like, why is that there? I'm just going to ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Danny, next line is for you. I just did the last one. I can do this oh, one. Oh, you again, did? Stella, but... sorry. Two female yeah. voices. Hisashi <laughs> ga atama ni teri tsukeru kuru hiru meshi doki da. So when um, the sunlight was directly sh shining on their Hi. heads, it was um, the noon meal time, so lunchtime. Hi, hi, hi. Which is logical to assume that. <laughs> it's kind of like a funny thing. It was lunchtime when the sun was at noon. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> I was just since... really, really hungry. <laughs> so, so. That's <laughs> Danny, next slide for you. Uh, Kuramu wa manto ni, manto ni mi, mi o kurunda kodomo ni, uh, no. os, osoto me, meiji, futari wa machi, machidai no so, sora, that's not right. Uh, in this Sora. case, it's empty. So you're right. That is soda sky. You're hundred percent correct. In this context, it's yeah. meaning empty. So it's aki from aku. Uh, I was like, I know what all of these. Uh, aki hoka. Uh, I think it's just chi. Yeah, aki chi, like jimen. Hmm. So chi. Uh, aki. Chi de uma o orita. Hi. Uh, okay. So this right here, you, you pronounce it as miti, but it, as machi, but it's miti, miti bata, the side of the road. And uh, boso is the sound effect of being like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing going on in your brain. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so backing up. Uh, Meiji is to order. Hi. Who, um, Bozoto is he lazily or like indistinctly ordered. Yeah. Um, the, the person and the person who did the ordering was Coram, and the person that he ordered was the the child who was wrapped up in a cloak. Perfect. Hi. So he lazily ordered the, the cloaked child to do something. And right. together they, Futari, so the two of them, um, uh, Orita, which means, right. got down from the Uma horse. Um, and they got down on the Michi Bata no Akichi. So the empty like the empty side of the road. Exactly. So you're right that bolso theoretically could mean lazily, but it's not like da 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 lazily. 
it's it's very much like no thoughts it is like he's zombily doing this thing like drilling no thoughts so like if you're using it like lazily you're like referring to when the person is like zoning out on the couch type of lazy but not like lazy mm-hmm. as like the action of being lazy um there mm-hmm. really just should be brain empty there's nothing going on in there there's, a... there's crickets in his brain uh is what he's saying so he so he's not like lazily saying hey go get off the horse it's more just like mm-hmm. he, he's still thinking i wish Elena was a boy mm-hmm. he's just zoned out <laughs> he just orders her zoned out uh and next line will go to stella Bukuro Hara Panto cheese o dasuto Michi ba Takura Bukuruko Kuruku Kuruku Rakashira Kukashira Kuram わ、プラモア半分に割って子供に渡した。そう、渡した。So, right, so um, first comma. <laughs> Kura yeah, first comma. Panto cheese o dasu. That's saddlebags. He took hi. out the cheese and the bread. Hi, hi, hi. And then and what next happened? Koramo wa handu ni watte. Watte. Then he, then he handed that to the child. Hi, what did he do before he handed it to the child? Did he just hand cheese and bread as it is to the child? Or did he wadu the bread into hanbun? Half. He... Hi. Wateru means to split. So he split the bread and the split. cheese in half before he handed it to the child. Hi, hi. hi. Um, and the reason why I corrected the watashita is that watashita... <laughs> The, like the slur is kind of neat. Yeah. That's the way it sounds like you're saying I. What the stuff that? Yeah, I. I... <laughs> the slurring is needed. I, I... It's confusing. I was, I guess, like theoretically it's fine, but. I, I, I hesitated there. Koramu wa mata kura gashira kara fui wine no kawabukuro mo. Oroshita. So uh, Koramu once again uh, took something out of the saddlebag, but now it's like written with different kanji. I'm not sure what the kashira is saying here. Um, but what he took out was some wine in a leather bag. Uh, but I'm actually going to Google what a kura kashira is. <laughs> I spent a really long time on this yesterday because it yeah. doesn't translate neatly. It's the top of the saddle, which oh. is saddle horn in Western oh. saddles, but doesn't oh. translate neatly Japanese. <laughs> Gosh, I the head of the saddle. I wonder if like we actually Googled it like on Google Google. Does it not pop up or is it like literally they Maybe just made on up Google, a word? Google. I did. I did two or three different translation things trying to figure out what it was and i had to go to the uh to the original english source yeah. to figure out what it was less english always always so <laughs> useful thank you Kura. Um, makes uh, a lot of sense the it looks like they're of- it looks like they're using the wrong word for it but when I Google it, like mm. there's a Chinese person showing a saddle and has different things listed, you think you just would take the Chinese word for <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, looks like they did the wrong thing. 
It's hard to be a translator. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A hard life. Um, and uh, Danny, this whole paragraph will be for you. Okay. Yugure made made ni or yugure made ni wa yado ni zuku um in the it uh when when the evening comes we will arrive at the inn is that work yeah made ni wa? that's exactly what it says by the time night yeah. comes we'll be at the inn um thor Sore yori hayaku hayaku wa mori kamoshire naiga it it's not kamoshire naiga it is maybe not uh kamoshire no. nai uh means mm-hmm. like perhaps so perhaps it is muri you know what moody means? Impossible. Hi. Perhaps it is impossible. Perhaps what is impossible? Sore yori hayaku. That we get there early? Yeah. Or we get there faster? Yeah. It might okay, be this impossible. is another... Tr- this is another weird, like, me cheating again. But the English translation of this is, it's not impossible that we get there faster. Yes, and because the yori, I, I, rather than a hole, mm-hmm. makes sense. Is it does what? Uh, so, so, um, so sore yori means uh, mm-hmm. that is less than the current hayaku we are talking about. So it just says it, 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 it So there's a mightness. So it might be. Um, impossible to go faster than that. I mean, no, faster it might be impossible for to go faster than that. But it's there, it's like the the questionness for it is is like very, if it said like sore no holga hayaku wa muri would would basically it's it's kind of weird to think about it. But um, <laughs> so so we have night right, and we have this right here. It's like mm-hmm. first one, right. And if it says this right here is less fast than another thing, so I, I like I guess you're saying it might be possible to go faster, right? But in Japanese, you just you do things like negative first rather than positive first. I guess like that's 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 the reason for it. I was wondering if the Murray and the Nai canceled each other out, so Not it was really. like a double negative. Um, Moody isn't really the word impossible in the first place um it is uh to push oneself it's like to not want to do Mm. it's it's more like that than in than like impossible as like a meaning like if it was possible it'd be like wake ganai if you're saying it was impossible to go up there moody as a word in itself is a impossibility that is not that is like human it is a personal mm-hmm. thought process that I, I I don't want to push myself to go further than what you should go, right? So a lot of times you'll hear people say like, which means like, don't push yourself, but it doesn't mean do not do the impossible, right? They're not, they're not actually mm-hmm. saying that. So like, moody is kind of like a hypothetical like limit of what would be like comfortable, right? So moody is uncomfortable mm-hmm. after that limit. It's when you're like pushing yourself so hard that you might die is what after moody is. Um, or you could say moody yari, that- which is to forcefully make somebody do something because they didn't want to do it. You're mm-hmm. pushing them past their Is default. that more than if we push ourselves, then we will, or- then we could arrive early? Yeah. So that, that could be a way of thinking of yeah that that would be it uh yeah if if we had pushed ourselves we could arrive early 
That is actually probably what it's saying. <laughs> now that you mm. said that out loud. But yeah, that that's the <laughs> kind of booty <laughs> cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. That yep. is that is okay. what it says. So it's just what, <laughs> once you know what Moody actually means, <laughs> the sentence makes a lot more sense. Yeah, uh, and then you're still continuing. Yeah, from wa hikui toe de ita, he said in a low voice, which I think they're using to mean grumbly. Uh, but so hikui... it's weird to me that. Uh, it yeah it, they say it a couple times like that is how he's talking in a low voice i think mm -hmm. there's another usage of it later which feel like do they not have a word for grumbly or rumbly uh, they do have a word for grumbly and rumbly um they it the author might have just wanted him to sound more masculine but like not in a grumpy mm -hmm. kind of way um you would um in a different book i read they use um what what was the word it, it's like the word that a dog growls with you know what that Ud mm. i think something like that growl mm. unaru uh unaru no yoni would uh unaru yoni sorry would normally be like more of like in a grumbly kind of tone. And there's other ways as well. That's just the first one that popped up in my head as one of those kind of words. There's also like other things. Uh, but if I see them, I'll like send them to you. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, I, I've definitely seen other ways of saying um, grumbly. Um, just hikui as low is less like to lower your voice like danger. Like if you say someone says in a low tone in English, that sounds threatening. And that's not really what hikui means. It just is the uh, lower I took tone. it to mean, it, it kind of sounds to me like whispering, but I don't think he's actually whispering. It's not whispering. whispering. That is a different word. You would never use hikui for whispering. You'd say kogoi would be one word you could use which is a quiet voice, mm. or you would use the actual verb, which is sasayaku. And to grumble, in case you're wondering, is, uh, is, uh, utsumuku, I think? No, u tsubayaku is, uh, yaku. right? So that's grump, that's like, um, muttering, and that's, uh, whispering. So yeah, hikui does not, it's not a that's whisper. That's such an interesting kanji for whispering, which is neither here nor there, but it's a mouth making like three saying sounds, three, which, three which says like loud or verbose to me. It's, it's a voice that three Maybe ears. you need more ears. You need more ears yeah. to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> you need more ears to hear what it says. Exactly. Uh, so he says, until there, please just um, don't throw a fit. Oh, the word. Please, please just do your best. I wonder what this is in English. Uh, just put up with it. Just put up with it till then. Uh, next two lines here, we'll go to Stella. Alana wa omoi hood. Oh, oh, So she has, so Alana lowers her heavy hood and then she says, Atashi. So Feminine eye, very important here. Very um, important. I've had enough. Or uh, good. This guess. is enough, actually. This is enough. Yes. <laughs> exactly. If it was I had enough, you probably wouldn't use jubun. Instead, you would use jubun. Instead, you would use like gomen or something. I don't know. Mm. I don't know what you use. I can't honestly. Dude, there's a, there's a lot of words, but like jubun is like enough and a like. Sufficient enoughness. 
rather than a I've had enough type of enough. Uh, not not ah. uh, 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 Koramo wa nodo tsumara se kutio fukunda sake o miti ni maki chirasta. So Koramo, he, um, something happens with his throat. I think something gets stuck in his throat. And he spits out、um, the alcohol in a like, spray kind of way onto the road. And this alcohol was in his mouth、um, originally.、Um, Chumarase. Yeah. I would guess like, it's like, meaning stuck in this context. No, no. Yeah, basically, it just means he made a choking sound. Ah, yeah, to be packed with. That's something stuck. And next line, we'll go to Danny. Kuramu ga iki ga tsukeru yoni naru made. Entel orana wa seinaka o tataite age na kereba narana. Nakata. Okay. The back half of that sentence was hard for me, but the first part is Koramu ga iki ga tsuke ru yoninaru made. So until we got to the point where, or until, until Koramu caught his breath. Yeah, like, got until he got to the point that he could where... catch his breath. I think got to the point is a good、yeah. way of describing the not doing here. Alana、mm-hmm. was doing something. Got to the... He was. Where he could connect to his breath again. She was. Orana was striking his back, like、yeah. pounding on his back. And then the age na kere ba is. Unclear to me, but the nara、um, not got up. So, ageru has like two meanings, right? One meaning is like to pick up upward, right? And the other meaning is like to do something for somebody. So, in this case, it is to do an action for somebody,、mm-hmm. right? So, Alana is doing the action of smacking for Kodama. And the n a k i r a n a r a n a i Right, that's what that is. It means if she did not do it, it would not happen, which is used to mean must in、um, a lot of translations.、Uh, because if you did not do it, it would not happen. So I had to have done it. So here it's just saying she, 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 was, she made herself, she had to smack his back the whole time until this happened. The hat here is like, I guess, insinuating that she was just scared he was going to die. But it's, it's just saying that、mm-hmm. she did this the whole time without. She, like, it's not like needed here. It's just kind of there to like show that she, like, there was like a、mm-hmm. need, kind of. She, she felt like she had to smack him.、Mm-hmm. She felt like she had to continue doing this until he stopped choking.、Um, but like, felt is not in the sentence. This is stated as a statement. But the reason why he's there is for, for the feeling, basically.、Mm-hmm. I, I am curious what the English would say for that. I bet it just says she smacked it. <laughs> that part's not really、yeah. English.、Uh, next line is for.、Uh, I don't know who just did it.、Me? Is it Stella? <laughs> Who's ever t u r n e d it? Next line would be for me. Hi. Brandica Koram wa. Subu. 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 Subu yaku is to mutter. Ah, to yaku to. Um. Saku bukuro. I think it's sake bukuro, but I could、oh. be absolutely wrong. I never Google it.、So. <laughs> oh, Mitsu meta. So he, he, he's looking at his wine skin or sake skin,、right. I guess. Yep. And 
he asks, he, he um, mutters, like, is this brandy? Is, is it, in this case, is this because of the brandy? Is what is what I, it probably says in English. Ah. Brandy, God. Literally just says uh-huh. brandy, but he's drinking brandy. He's thinking, like, did my alcohol go bad and am I hallucinating now? Is, is what he's saying. Right? Yeah. So, I think the, it's more like he's he's been severely rattled, and so he's yes. looking around for brandy. No, he, he he grabbed alcohol from the saddle thing, and he drank some alcohol, stuck it in his mouth, and then Elena takes off her hood and says, "I am totally fine with this," in a very feminine tone. So because <laughs> of that, he spits out the alcohol, and he's like, "The brandy." Is, is it is it the is that's a, that's an alcohol brown right he's saying mm-hmm. is it the wine is it the wine i'm drinking right and the wine mm-hmm. make it that i think tom is alana like he's literally asking did the wine go bad am mm-hmm. i hallucinating but that's like dropped by the context um, <laughs> <laughs> um once he um calms down he uh faces the problem he comes back to face the current problem that, that has appeared in front of him. And the next line will go to Danny. Kuroki kami ni kakete koramu wa kao murasaki no madara ni shimete wameta. Mm. So wamete teta is wameta is he shouted. Right. And then shimete means he something changed colors and he shouted at the same time. Yes. Um the changing then, of the color is that the location of his cow. Yeah. So the um it changed colors to purple spots on his right. face. Exactly. At the same his time that he shouted, purple. that he shouted, um, but like by okay, ku, kuro ki kami. It would be black god. Yeah. Um, and then like it would be like by George or by God or by whatever, but in this case, he's yeah. saying by the Black Kami God. Kakete means to saying. swear by God. Uh, so mm-hmm. we just took that from Japanese. By the gods. By the Black God. Exactly. Ima sugu modoru zo kaitara nawa kawa o haide yaru. So he says, okay, we're going to go home right now. And when we go home, we're going to over and peel your skin. And the next <laughs> line is going to go to Stella. I'm going to tan your hide, as far as it says in English. Mm. Uh, Akuma is like bad language. Ah, Akuma. Uh, what is Akuma? Demon? Demon, yeah. Okay. Akuma ga unda anata no kyodai wa doko da. So unda is birth, right? Hi. Mm-hmm. So your demon spawn, where's your demon spawn brother? Yeah, where's your brother that was born from a demon? The demon gave birth to. Hilarious. Uh, next person, your turn. Paramu ochi tsuite orana wa ita ora no nomi mono de demo nonde. Um, okay, so Orana said, Orum, calm down. Uh, look, you should drink this drink. You should drink this drink. Yeah, you should drink even more. <laughs> drink whatever is drinkable. 
あ飲み物なんか飲みたがないね。衣はうなった。So, home, he growls. <laughs> uh, and he says,、um, something like, oh, something to drink.、Um, I do not want to drink it. He says, I don't want to do something like drink. Yeah, there, there, there's our growling word. Now he's actually grumpy.、Uh, <laughs> versus、uh, hikui is just low.、Um, and the rest of this line is going to go to Stella. Uh, oh, that's not what that word is. It is. It's namakawa, which is、uh, rawhide. Ah! Namakawa ga andachi ana ni na darake ni naru made. あなたたち双子,双子を再びぶった。はい、んだ。ボラムはさっき。酒袋。酒袋。Um, から酒をぶ,ぶっこりぶっこりとひとくちなんだはい。You're right, this is Saka no, Kuro. No, I just Googled it.、Yeah. Uh, good job.、Uh, this is Gokuri, which is the sound effect of swallowing. Ah,、uh, mm-hmm. okay.、Gulp. So he's saying that he wants to.、Um, he wants to beat, up, beat them up. Until there's like holes in their hide, hides, like feet. Yes. It's like skin the. The skinning skin was、them. earlier. Um,、uh, that was over、okay. here at the height there. He says,、um, when we're going to go home, we're going to skin、yes. your hides. And now he wants to beat you until there's a hole in that hide. So it's kind of keeping the same. Okay. Sort of okay.、Idea. Okay. So that's. So you're absolutely gotcha. Gotcha.、Right. Gotcha. And then, like, I'm not done. Like you two twins,、yeah. um, and then he、um, takes another gulp of the sake, exactly perfect.、Um, and then this line right here is going to go to Danny. Tamu wa mado to kamigami no shi ni muka teru tokoro. オラノは説明してきた。そう、オラノは言ったら、パーマは、そこに行くと、マーマーが行くと、マーマーが行くと、Because you could just say, like, Tom is going to the city of the gods with Maud, but it、mm. adds the Tokoro at the end. That's kind of neat. And I'm wondering if that's needed for Japanese because he specifically asked Doko. And so, like, you need to respond with a place, even though that's not a i t s、well, not actually a place. The Tokoro is a、it's、place. It's more like he's in the, he's in the scenario. She responded with an action that he's doing, which is covering a distance and answer to his question of where is he. She doesn't know where he is.、And、In English, you would say he's added- somewhere on the way toward the capital, right? That's probably what we'd ask.、Mm. Like, where is he? He's on the way to the capital. So, the, like, 
the the like the the there's an insinuated location word like he, he's mm-hmm. somewhere on the way basically is what the Totoro is doing he's he's somewhere mm-hmm. uh at this location so like you're right uh it's because she's answering the question of doko where is your brother he's heading toward blank uh, that is interesting oh, that you pointed that out uh but my, my, what I was going to say, the reason why it has to do this is that Japanese has a kind of rule about making statements that is different than English, that you're not allowed to make mm. statements in Japanese unless you know it's a fact, at, at least as far as writing goes. So, like, for example, if you're writing a book in first person, you cannot say she gave me a sad look that is not allowed. You have to say she gave me a look that looks sad. Right? You have to add all mm-hmm. these vagueness modifiers in Japanese literature if you do not have a first-hand account. Even though who's writing this is the author, who knows all this information. The book is written in third person. Like, you're not allowed to do that except for with whichever character is the POV character of a specific section of a book. So in this book, because Alana is our main character, we don't need any vagueness modifiers. Uh, there's a whole entire section where we're reading Kalamu's brain, but for any other kind of character, you have to kind of you add these vagueness modifiers, which in English is not needed, like at all. You don't really use the she looks sad. You'd say the person we were talking to was sad. You know, we make these assumptions for people mm-hmm. not allowed. So like for me, I feel like this is more based off of that idea of that you're not allowed to make direct statements of mm-hmm. like non for sure information so we have to use the tokoro to say she's at this that time place location <laughs> to because otherwise like mukatte iru is kind of vague i don't know I, I guess that like doesn't really make sense but like that's how i was in my head because mm-hmm. like if you said like mukatte iru period that sounds weird to me <laughs> even without the context because it feels like she's like describing a story. I don't know. Versus the mm. Tokoro. Because like, it feels like he's in the state of doing this action versus he is doing this action. It, just, it feels too aggressive <laughs> to be ending mm. with that. I, I don't know why. So I feel like that's why it's doing it. Do they like the direct statement, like rule in Japanese? But I don't, I don't know if that's like a real thing or not. Uh, I don't, I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, and then I'm just going to read the one last line, because it just is easier to start on the page without it. Which is, Moldo wa anata ni wa... What the heck? Moldo wa... Moldo... Picture 24, okay. Uh, 26. Moldo... There's this weird thing where it, like, skips. What happened is I probably it, scanned it, the page It's, like, too complicated, yeah. Uh, yeah. He says, Modo said that we are doing the correct thing. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. And that's where we're ending. So yeah, whenever these, pa- I just like go Thank to the you. end of the paragraph on the next page. And I'll stop the yeah. recording. Yeah.